So this is the foiling moth. It's super narrow, as you can see, and it's developed from a, a historical class, you know, that's in a box rule. So it's just gotta be a certain length and a certain width, and the sail area has to be a certain size. That's it. These wing bars uh, allow us to be hiking out well away from the center of the boat and, and create a riding moment that way. Um, like the big boat, the, the America's Cup catamaran has a riding moment just by being out in the, in the hulls. Um, but we, we get that from, from being way out on these tramps. The trampolines are not all that dissimilar from the, from the tramps on the catamaran too. You gotta bounce across sometimes to, to, to make it to the new rail. Are you riding on two foils? Um, uh, they're both hydrofoils, uh, just like you'd have on the on the big boat, except that these are a T-foil. So on the big boat, uh, in the rudder, we'll have a T-foil like this, um, but the dagger boards will be uh, an L-foil or J-foil type of different shape. The other difference between the moth and the big boat is that the moth has a, a flap system on its main foil that adjusts. So every time the boat goes down in the water, there's a little wand that comes out and it adjusts the foil to help you go up. And once you get too high, then it adjusts the foil to help you come back down. We've got a bunch of sail controls let out to the rail. Boom Bang and Cunningham are quite simple. There's, it's just one sail, so it's, it's really simple. The beauty of it is that you can do it yourself. You know, the, it's all kind of in the palm of your hand and it's up to you to, to solve all your own problems. The, the battle is that you can't blame anybody else when you screw it up. <laughs> it's easy to do.